When you hear burger, you probably think America. But today, we're going to Malaysia to make the Romley Burger. Well, my take on the Romley Burger. Welcome back to another episode of Annie's Smoking Pot. Today, we're going to make a burger from Malaysia. Malaysia. I never in a million years, when I hear burger, would I ever have gone to Malaysia. Never made it before. Heard about it. Read about it watched about it and now we're gonna put our own spin on it though to make it an Annie smoking pot burger so my husband likes to refer to this as a triple chicken we are using ground chicken we are using an egg like a fried egg wrapped around the ground chicken and we're topping it with a sliced soya egg it's a hard-boiled egg that has been marinating in soy sauce like all day long you ever smelled hard boiled eggs in your house? You live in a tiny house like I do? Whoo, it permeates everywhere. We've got our ground chicken, minced garlic, soy sauce, paprika, regular paprika. I've opted not to do the smoky paprika because I don't want that smoky flavor because there's a lot of other flavors that are gonna be going on. So just regular paprika. And some minced red onion. Let's get our skillet heating up. You don't want to go really hot. What we're going to do is we're just going, we're going to cook the burger fully, but you want to sear it really well first and then let it cook through to the center. So you don't want to go too hot because we don't want that outside to burn before it cooks through. Being that it is ground chicken, you do have to cook it through. You can't have it like hamburger. You don't want a little pink in the middle. We're going to add some oil because ground chicken does not have really any fat to it. So it could tend to stick. That oil is going to help with that. We're going to make a patty. My little bitty bowl. You don't want to overwork the meat because it can toughen up a little bit. So just make sure you get everything mixed together and that's it. Just like that. And in it goes. Oh, you can hear that sizzle. If you kind of put like little divots in the center when you put it in the pan, that helps keep it from like bubbling up in the middle and almost turning into like a hockey puck looking patty. All right, we're gonna let that cook. We're gonna let that cook. Huh, what should we talk about while that cooks? The Romley burger comes from Malaysia. It is actually a street burger, part of their street food scene. And I heard about it from watching an episode of Dylan and Adriana who have the channel Two Passports, One Dream. If you haven't checked them out, you really should. They are absolutely amazing to watch. And that's, I saw it, my husband saw it, and he's like, oh, we totally can re recreate that, right? We can do it, but we put our own spin on it because you know, you don't want to copy exactly. You got to make it your own. You just have to. And that's what we're doing today. We are making it our own. <gasps> While that's cooking, let's go ahead and get our sauce made for our bun. Very simple sauce, our Japanese mayonnaise and some sweet chili sauce, that's it. That sweet chili sauce is going to add just another level of sweet flavor to this already amazing burger that we're making. And then of course, you know, the Japanese mayonnaise, that QP brand Japanese mayonnaise is more of an eggy mayonnaise. Give that a little flip and see how it's going. Perfect, look at that, that is seared beautifully. Now, because we need to go ahead and let it cook through to the center, go ahead and turn your heat down a little bit so that it cooks a little bit slower on the second side just to cook all the way through. Our patty is done, so we're gonna go ahead and remove that from our skillet, but leave your skillet for now because that bun we talked about, let's go ahead and get that nice and toasted. And you can just put that in that same pan because it'll just you know absorb some of the flavor from that ground chicken. As always, description below, full recipe, step-by-step, step, can't mess it up and you're gonna need that egg and whisk that bad boy up take that off of there oh, ah, careful they're hot and we're gonna switch pan oil so the egg doesn't stick butter for flavor and then in goes the egg you want to try to cover the whole bottom of that pan with your egg low and slow guess we're essentially kind of making like a blanket, like a blanket to put the patty in and wrap up like a little baby. We might have something here. I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of the items that we need to construct this burger because it's gonna go quick from here. We've got our toasted bun, remember that guy we did? And then we've also got a little few condiments to put on there. These are those soyo eggs that I told you about. And what doesn't go better on a burger than lettuce, tomato, and onion? Oh, I think we are ready. Oh yeah, look at that. See how that moves around? Now you know it's good to go. You're gonna take that wonderful patty we made, put it right in the center. Now the fun part. Gonna wrap it up like a baby. Ooh. Just like that! Look at it! It totally worked! 
there you have it wrapped up that's exactly what you're looking for low and slow on the egg is the way to go otherwise you're going to burn it before you get to the point where you can put the patty back in there and turn it into a little nestle of goodness let's make a burger little mayonnaise and a little sweet chili right there on the bottom bun oh and let's go ahead and put some on the top bun my theory with burgers is the messier a burger the better like i want the sauce and that juice running down your arm that's what makes a good burger oh i did probe my chicken meat by the way before i took it off to make sure because it is chicken you want it cooked through so you want it to be an internal temp of at least 165. so i did make sure of that before we took it off and we've got our tomato we'll just put that right there in the middle and let's go ahead and put some onions. I know there's onions in the chicken meat, but this just gives another level of flavor. I don't think I want that one, so we're not gonna use it. And then that beautiful wrap patty right there on top. Let's do our soyo eggs next. We're just gonna set those right on top of there. See, chicken three ways and some nice crisp chopped lettuce. Burger from Malaysia, from Malaysia. I don't know why I sound so surprised, but I do not associate burgers with Malaysia. And then the bun right there, there you have it. Actually, this one is from my little trailer, not from Malaysia, but the inspiration came from Malaysia. And there we have it, a Romley inspired burger but made Annie's way with soyo hard boiled eggs, fried egg, the chicken patty, lettuce, tomato, onion, mayonnaise, sweet chili sauce. <laughs> doesn't get any better it does well it does once I put it in my mouth are you ready to cut into it look at that looks amazing cannot wait to eat it should I take a bite I think so I hope you've watched this episode all the way through I hope you've liked it if you have I hope you gave it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and you know what I don't want to talk anymore I just want to take a bite I don't even know where to go right there Oh wow, mm, mm -hmm, mm. Oh, that crispy lettuce gives such texture to it. That soyo egg, that hard boiled egg that's in there, you get the bite from those raw red onions. You get the paprika, that sweet chili sauce in the QP mayonnaise. It's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Please enjoy. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye. Dude, take a bite before you do anything else.